Critical hit Punch All Nazis takes place in the early days of World War II and combines high adventure with cosmic horror. All dates, locations, and historical events are thrown out the window in order to create a fun story, so don't put too much thought into historical inaccuracies. All accents are done poorly, but with love, and no disrespect is intended. Last time on Critical Hit. There is a creature in front of you with a giant worm for a head. Could he maybe get some gel and rub them together first? Well, that is a good idea. Thank you. Drop the rifle, pull out the uh, pistol and salvo with that. There are three doors. The door to the east, which leads out into the street. There is a door to the south that is closed that you don't know where it goes. And there is a door to the west that is also closed um, behind the stores where you think you hear a lot of the commotion coming from. Okay. Mm-hmm. Western door. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, open carefully or kick in? Uh, I say kick in and duck out of the way. Okay. I'll kick the door in. Okay, you kick the door in and you see a giant factory floor and there are dead bodies strewn all over the place. Uh, They are the ones marked in green. You see many Black Sun soldiers uh, moving about uh, at the sound of the door being kicked open. uh, At least four of the Black Sun soldiers, uh, these are troopers, uh, that you just uh, killed one of them, all turn and point at the door. Can you guys position yourselves around that door? Down on, there's a giant winch that's kind of holding the boat in, in place. And in between there, there are two Black Sun uh, soldiers that are doing something to the, um, what's the, the, the figurehead on the boat. Uh, yeah. And across from that, you see Dean's talk standing there. And he appears to be directing those guys on top of the boat. You see uh, Montauk standing there and he is leaning over the figurehead screaming at the, at the two black sun soldiers. It is there. It is there. Ah, that is it. And if you all look, you can see that the figurehead is a figurehead of a woman playing a flute. And it is a, it is a metal flute in the figurehead's hands. And you ha- hear Dean's talk go, I get it now. It's a pun. It is a pun. A flute on a flute. You get it? And at that moment, uh, coming up from uh, below deck is a woman with a um, strawberry blonde hair. And she has a metal uh, mask over her face. And you hear Dean's talk uh, say, Ah, flute on a flute. It's a funny pun. Just like you, sweet. Ha, you're sweet, but you're really not. And you see the woman in the iron mask turn to him and say, shut up, dumb cough. And he's like, I'm I'm sorry. I'll be quiet now. And uh, Dean Stock is, uh, Montauk is like, give the flute to me. Give the flute to me. There are four soldiers, Black Sun soldiers, that are moving towards the doorway. That has just been kicked in. Fish. Who's that? Show yourself. Fresh fish. Uh, Two of the soldiers move right up to uh, the door and they're kind of poking out and they can see you now. Yeah, we'll shoot them. (laughs) Okay. We are at the beginning of combat. I will shoot the southern most one okay. with my handgun if i can right. also aim at him sure, you can I certainly can aim at him mm-hmm. okay uh two, two successes. successes very good do some damage on him what mm. one very good ouch that hurt i don't like that and he fires back at you okay. and misses fish <laughs> return fire okay uh, same guy. That's the same guy. Yep. Okay. Uh, aim and shoot. All hey, right. two successes. Two successes. And 
Yeah, this guy uh, got this the, guy died. Ah, do you like that? His friend uh, says, "Ah, the fortune teller told us this was going to happen," and he fires back at you, Valentino, and he misses. Uh, I'll go. I should have the rifle readied, so shoot that into this guy. All right, or not? Oh, one success. That's that is too bad. Uh, the there is a giant worm creature in the room, and it rushes over to the doorway. Right. Uh, I'm still going to try and shoot the trooper because he's right there. Okay. Two successes. Very good. Uh, three. All right. Did she warn you about that? Fritz? Uh, my name is, <laughs> my name is Tom. <laughs> these two, these two, uh, black sun soldiers start to move forward. This one goes, my name is Fritz. And the other one moves forward, and the other one is like, yeah, mine of him is also Fritz. And then at that moment, uh, you see the two uh, Black Sun soldiers who are at the figurehead of the boat uh, take off the flute, and they're able to hand it up to uh, Herr Montauk standing on the bow of the boat. We have it, sweet. We have it. Uh, sweet, is, uh, sweet Lizelle is like, okay, it is time to go. Let us go. And she turns and starts to move away. Uh, there's a Black Sun soldier at the top of the uh, plank here, and it is going to, uh, I think it's going to move down a little bit, and it is going to fire at uh, Valentino. All right. And it hits. Ah! And it does one damage. Oh. One physical. Uh, if you got armor, soak it up. Uh, you see also in this room, there's another down towards the bottom. Uh, so as this is a factory room, uh, even though this is an ancient boat that is obviously in a position where it's not going to to move, it's obviously for show, uh, but it has taken a lot of damage uh, since these people have been in here uh, tearing away at it. Uh, there is a big opening and a ramp that leads down into the water uh, like this is a launching launching area. Yeah. And at the end of the ramp, uh, you see another uh, worm guy who is going to make his way, start to make his way around uh, the back of the boat. Uh, but then at the end of the ramp, you see in the water, a German U boat. Uh, it's obviously that this is the thing that has gotten the people in the town of Horn all freaked out because of the U-boat coming into the harbor. But now it is uh, much more clear that this was this factory was the target of the U-boat. And standing at the end of the ramp is a woman dressed in, uh, uh, again, a very finely tailored leather uh, uniform. Uh, she has short blonde hair that is cropped, and it's, it's combed back and slicked back as much as it can. And on each side of her are two... Very, very thin men, question mark. It's hard to tell because they are dressed head to toe in leather. Uh, they have uh, tight leather masks over their heads with two, like two lenses where their eyes would be at. Uh, they also look like they are holding some kind of knife in each hand, but they are all standing there just watching the scene play out. Uh, here, Dean's talk is like, we've got it. It's time to move. The rest of you stop them. Whoever they are, fishmen, we don't like them. And he starts to move away. We are now at the top of the round. Who's got the flute? Uh, Hair uh, Montauk. Oh, oh I thought Montauk had it. Okay. okay. Yeah, whoever this guy is. Uh, uh is he Van within Warren? range of me being able to use the rifle on him? Uh, no, that is a far range weapon. It would be a D three to hit him. How far forward would I need to get? You would have to, uh, you would have to be within five squares of him. One, two, oh. three, four, five. So you would have to be like here, but you've got stuff you know, blocking the door. Yeah. You got, uh, yeah. Um, I mean, you could try an agility to try and get around those guys if you wanted. It was, yeah. Do me, do me a great favor. 
get out the prototype and blast that monster. Yep. The monster? Yeah. Not the guy with the uh, thing that's going to get away? Can you hit him from here? If I pull out the prototype, I can. Okay, well then do that. Are they still on the ship? Prototype range is extreme. Mm -hmm. They are still on the ship. Shoot the block and tackle! Uh, Rob doesn't know what that means. Also, wouldn't that launch the ship? Onto the U-boat. Aren't there people at the end, standing there at the end, waiting to do the thing? And then the people who are standing on the ship would also be like, Oh, snows, we are broken, and our heads are smashed on the pavement. I'm just saying. Yeah, that's valid. Maximum property damage is always my first instinct. That tracks. Uh, I, I, I still say you shoot the guy. Shoot the guy with the prototype? Yes. Let's... Uh, if... Uh... Doc maintains his appetite for destruction. He can try and kick out the block and tackle himself here in a bit. Once we've opened it up a little. Do I want to give a threat to uh, get an extra die on the prototype? Yes. Uh, yes. Also spend a fortune. Oh, yeah. That's that's the right call. Uh, yeah, we'll just spend a fortune to get the auto... One. How much? How much threat does Steven have? I have Steven six. has six threat, but okay. if I'm getting two successes off of the one fortune, there's no point in spending the momentum. Sure, there is. We need More momentum. Good. <laughs> the th- yeah. Fair. Trading right. threat for momentum. So you're, you're, you, you've got three dice coming in anyway. Convert one into two successes. Then you'd be mm-hmm. rolling. You give two him dice. a threat. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I'll give a threat. Especially if you're aiming. I wouldn't be able to aim because I would Oh, because you're swapping weapons. Yeah. Okay. Uh, otherwise, I wouldn't even ask about the momentum. <laughs> um, yeah, shooting Monstog, the guy with the flute. Yep, Montauk, yeah. Montauk. Hey, two successes. Two more Go successes. ahead and try to do damage. That's more momentum. A blam. What's the effect on that? Uh, it has piercing one and the piercing one accurate and hidden is the okay. qualities. All right. Uh, salvo would be vicious, but I didn't salvo. Okay. Uh, the lightning arc shoots across the room and strikes Montauk, who is holding the the flute, and he's like, "I, ah, that hurts." Ah, you, ah. <laughs> And he then starts to say something that none of you can understand. And he raises his arm with the flute up into the air and he utters something. And a big giant mist uh, envelops him. Uh, So if we could, let me put it on here. Yeah. And he is hard to see now. Uh, Lizelle is like, idiot, come on. So the these the the monster and the other guy are blocking the Yeah, there is a way that you could get around up here, but you would have to do an agility um uh what is it? Uh athletics and agility D one to try to get around them. Okay. If I do that, will you let me get all the way back here? Yeah. Okay. I'll do that. Because where where are you at now? Down here. One, two, three, four. Yeah, you can get all the way back there. Okay. And you can still take a shot, too. Oh, nice. Getting behind cover is my oh, favorite thing to do. Yeah. Okay. Um, We don't... Oh, we have momentum. Mm-hmm. Rob got some. It's oh. only a D1, though, to do this. To do That's this okay. okay. Uh, if, I, if after all this I can't get through the door, it's going to be rough. Okay. Uh, yep, so I'll spend one momentum. And okay. my difficulty is actually... Or not difficulty, but my target number is lower. Is that agility and athletics? Mm-hmm. That's the other one. Is That's not as good of a pull. See? Ooh, ouch. Exactly you... zero successes. All right. Uh, you attempt to move, and the worm creature reaches out and tries to slash at you. And uh, misses, and its claw gets stuck into the wooden door. And you're on the other side of that door and you just see these big, long, like six inch spikes just come through the door and miss you by like a centimeter because we're in Europe and we need to use centimeter. 
Okay. Uh, can I still take a shot? At you something? can try to take a shot, yeah. Let me take a shot at... Do these guys seem like they're involving themselves in this? Uh, not yet, because like... they just used their turn to hand the flute over to uh, to Montauk. Okay. kind of wanted to get the rifle out ready. Can I, can I use my pistol? Sure. Okay. I'll shoot... I'll shoot the monster with my pistol. Okay. Oh, well. Um, and I'll spend a salvo to try and make it okay. vicious. All right. Two, Two successes, successes and the vi- Oh, to make it vicious. Okay. Yeah. Two. Four. Yeah. It, uh, it takes the full blast and, and just kind of, uh, wormy grins at you. Mm. Hasn't been a uh, good, hasn't been a good mission for Carlos Arbogast. It's, uh, these guys are pretty tough. Uh, okay. The, uh, stormtrooper takes a shot at, um, Valentino and misses, uh, this guy right here, uh, this other guy, uh, stormtrooper is going to take a shot at doc Mm -hmm. and misses, uh, this guy right here is going to take a shot at doc and misses. Um, let's see. Lazelle moves down here. Um, Beanstalk moves down here. And this guy right here moves to a better position. And you hear Beanstalk yell, you two, stop standing around and do something. And these guys both, uh, one moves up here. And the other one moves here and they each take a shot. Uh, these two are together. So one of them attacks, uh, uh-huh. uh, Blisco and misses. And that is, I think, oh, uh, and then this worm guy down here, one, two, three, four, five, um, moves over and is climbing up the side of the pit and is working his way towards you. And now we are at the top of the round. Now, Blisco, please get rid of the monster. Aim gets me an extra okay. die and okay. increases my pierce. Okay. Uh, so I did not use a momentum uh, so, on this. Uh, you're shooting at the at the monster monster, right? Yeah. So, okay. All right. Hey, two successes. Very good. Three successes. Three it's successes. Very That's good. I'm, uh, I'm getting us some momentum. Okay, cool. Uh, that it. So go ahead and roll your damage. Maj. And this is prototype X one, right? Yep. Okay. And it'll have Pierce two because of the okay. aim. Very good. Well, there's my damage. Oh, one, two, three, three plus two effect. Four. Yeah, it uh, it doesn't like fire. It 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 doesn't like the electricity. All the little worms start squirming around. <laughs> and it is taken one injury. Uh, part of the worms fall off. Uh, um, into a pile and start squirming around, but there's still definitely plenty of monster left. Mm-hmm. In fact, um, what is the, you said piercing was the effect, right, Rob? Yeah. Well, okay. yeah. Okay. It, uh, it pulls its claw out of the door and it takes a swing at Valentino ah. and misses. All right. If I could respond. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, I'll try to shoot it and see if we can get rid okay. of it. All right. With a name. Uh, hey, two successes. Very good. All right. And damage. What's nope. the uh, effect? Four, five, six. Uh, vicious. Vicious? Okay. It is greatly wounded, but it does not go ah, down. Darn. I'm going to treat, for the purposes of the rest of this fight, these three guys right here. Uh, mm-hmm. Fritz, Fritz, and uh, whatever this guy's name was, Timmy, Tommy. Uh, I'm going to treat That's them Tom. as a single unit. So Tommy, the stormtrooper, is going to fire at uh, Blisco. Okay. And he hits, finally, which is unfortunate because... I'm trooper. Uh, well, because I get to allergic add, to bullets. Yeah. Oh, I get man. to add one damage. I get to add bullets one damage to the other two guys. Weakness. Uh, okay. So you take four physical damage, Rob. Oh God. Yeah. Sorry. I have two boxes left. 
Uh oh. Well, don't die. Mm. I I don't get an option in this. I've already used my action for the round. So, okay. Uh, who would like to go? I will go. All right. Who are you going to shoot? I, I will shoot Timmy and or Tommy and or Fritz. Okay. Whomever is more shootable. Well, they're all kind of shootable. Okay. But because they're working as a unit, um, mm. any damage beyond, uh, you know, the damage that takes them out spills right. over to the next guy. Okay. I would like to burn a momentum to shoot Timmy and or Tommy and or Fritz. Uh, for two successes. Okay. Yikes. That was very nearly bad. And then, shoot, I forgot to declare aim, so... Aim doesn't three. do anything anyway. You've already rolled your uh, attacks. That's One, two, three, four, five. Right? Yep. What is your yep. effect on, on this gun? Uh, vicious. Okay. So this guy goes down. This guy right here, the second guy, Fritz one takes a little bit of damage, but he's standing and Fritz two, uh, uh, yeah. doesn't take any damage. So the other two guys over here also are going to aim, uh, at, uh, Carlos and they hit. Oh, and you take three physical damage. Soak up any armor stuff that you. Yep, I'll soak two of that. You have all right. Who hasn't gone? Blisco is gone. Has everybody gone? Um, I've lost track of things. Feeling okay, no go. I have gone this round. Okay, so I shut up the worm guy. Oh, yeah, that was did. this round, right? Yeah. Yep. Carlos hasn't gone this round. Then. Yep. Yeah, I haven't gone this round. Okay. All right. Um. The worm guy is very close to death. I will tell you that. Okay. I'll try to shoot the worm guy. I mean, you need to do at least five damage on him. Oh, then never mind. There's no possible way I do five damage in one go at him. How could you not um, do uh, You've got uh, momentum? Armor. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. You mean five. You don't mean five damage past his armor. No, no, no. Oh, okay. Just talk about five damage total. Um. Okay, I'll. Since I can't aim anyway with the rifle, I'll move back here and I'll switch to my rifle and shoot at the guy with it. Okay. You want to spend a momentum? I'll spend a momentum. Okay. And uh, what's. Oh, I guess it's a stun on a uh, salvo, so I'll spend a salvo too. Okay. Two successes. Two successes. Very good. Okay. Roll some. Would you like to spend a momentum for extra damage? How much momentum do we have? One. Mm. Or threat. Yeah. You can give me threat too. So. Uh, I'll actually go ahead and spend that momentum for extra damage. Okay. So that's five plus my insight plus one more. That's seven damage dice coming in. Mm hmm. Nice. He is or dead. eight damage. Okay. It is dead. The worms crawl in. The worms crawl out. The worms oh. crawl in, and they squirm over to the dead body. I'm like, nom, 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 nom. Oh, I like the goulash between the toes. Are the best. How about the pinnacle you. on your snout? <laughs> <laughs> what? Whichever one this guy is, Montag or Deanstock, he starts to move away. He moves one, two, three, four, five. Lazelle is standing down here. Would you finish them off? And then uh, uh, she moves down to the end of the gangplank. And then uh, Beanstalk over here is like, oh, I recognize you. Hello, hello. We were wondering what happened to you. We thought you ran away to America. Back to your mommies. And then he sees you, Doc. He goes, but not you. Your mommy is dead. <laughs> uh, the worm guy down here at the bottom climbs up and starts to move towards the uh, the doorway. That is everybody's turn. Unless there is, is there anybody else on you guys that need to go on this round? I don't think so. I don't think, I don't think so. so. All right, top of the round. Shoot the chains. So go for it, man. Shoot the chains with the X one. Wow. 
Is, is that what we want me to do? How does that I want to do? I mean, I, I, I can't see how how that like prevents. I mean, unless okay, here's how we know. Um, whoever, if we want somebody to shoot the chains, whoever does that needs to spend a fortune and negotiate with Steven for something beneficial to happen if that happens. Right. We should, we should like, we should spend a fortune and create a truth that says the boat fell over. <laughs> then whoever. No, no. The boat fell over is not a, like, like <laughs> we have to like figure out what that means. Oh, um, no one like, can what, escape what do the you... truth. No one can escape this room because the boat fell over. So the truth is no escape. No. It's <laughs> not gonna happen. There's okay. no way that the boat falling over on its side will block the the exit. Uh it sank the U boat. No. Um well shoot, I don't know. Like maybe we can do a like everybody on the boat gets knocked down, so they have to like at least spend one action getting back up. Lost their sea They're legs. They're really Is Liesel off the ship with the flute? Lizelle? She is off yeah. the boat. Yeah. yeah. So the only one on the boat is Mon- Montauk has the flute, doesn't he? Yeah, he has the he flute. Does. So. And the one uh, stormtrooper on the gangplank. Okay. Yeah. Which, I, which I feel it benefits our point. Right. If, like negotiation wise, if you're like, I'm spending a fortune to basically prevent Dean Stock from moving for one turn, two turns. I would, not, I'd allow not one from, not from going, but from moving. Right. Like he can still zap us or whatever, but he just can't move from that position. Yeah. I'd allow one turn, but not, uh, not two turns. All right. Uh, will you allow it if Matthew spends a fortune on his turn? For one move? Yeah. One turn? Yeah. Okay. I mean, the guy's not going to be stuck in place for two turns. Okay. So who's going? Uh, yeah, Doc. Okay. So that, that, all, all of that. Are you clear on what all of that? You are spending one fortune to attempt to shoot the block and tackle, which you're assuming is a D2. Um, okay. The, uh, if you succeed, then the block and tackle will release, the boat will fall over, and mm-hmm. at least, uh, at least in the case of, uh, of Montauk, he will be uh, tipped over and stuck into the position where he can't move for one round. Okay. okay. I have I have one last counter negotiation to that. If you're making him roll an attack roll, then I say that he doesn't need to spend the fortune unless he hits. No, like well for us, yeah. like that's one of the things we can spend a fortune on is this happened. Okay. There is a new truth that we negotiate with you. Yeah, negotiate, right? It doesn't No, no rolls, just okay. We spend a fortune. I I I will allow it. I will allow it. Okay. Because the fortune is a huge resource for us. Oh, sure. Yeah. That you guys never use. <laughs> I know. Right? I use them. I'm trying to use them. Rico uses them all the time. Yeah, I make truths all the time. I forget right. that that resource exists because I Doc, have a happy gun. Yes. Go ahead and, and describe it, Doc. Okay. So, Doc shoots the, what is it? What, what did you call it? You called it a winch before. Okay. You, you called it a block and tackle. Well, that's wrong. But. Okay, so Doc shoots the winch, and the chain doesn't break loose, but it actually starts to pull loose as though it's like actually launching the ship. The ship slides back, but it's not in the right position, so it sort of falls on its side, which means Herr Deanstock is on the the uh, deck. Ah, the boat is tipping over. Ah, I will grab a hold of the mast. Oh no. <laughs> And he is stuck there, holding onto the mass, so we can shoot him to death. Well, you can shoot him, but he still has this green aura around him. 
Yeah. Right. Uh, this Black Sun Trooper, when the boat shifts, mm -hmm. uh, he falls off too and is crushed by the boat falling on top. All right. Make sure you spend your fortune, Matthew. I will spend my fortune. That is one fewer fortune, leaving me with a total at this time of two fortunes. Okay. If I attempt uh, to use additional fortunes, please. These two guys, these two stormtroopers up here, attempt to shoot at Doc. Okay. And they hit. Oh. For one physical damage. Any armor would soak that up. Okay. My armor soaks the one damage. Uh, aside from Doc, none of us have gone, right? Correct. Is there someone blocking the doorway anymore? No, you guys can move in, but there's, you okay. know, there's these four, anybody that's in the white, they are the Black Sun Troopers. Okay, how, how many actions can I spend to get as close to this cat as possible? Montag, right? You would have to do, if you wanted to get to here, you would need to do an agility uh, plus athletics, and you'd have to pass that at a D2. Then that would allow you to move all the way up here, but that would spend your entire actions. Because that would be 10, 10 squares of movement. Yeah. I will do that. Okay. And let's see, what's my pool here? Or my numbers. What is that even called? Difficulty? It's not difficulty mm -hmm. because that's how many dies. Like what's like target number? What do they call it? Oh yeah, that is your uh, yeah, that's your your target for your difficulty or target for your uh, check, your skill check. Yep. Okay. Um. So you're at eleven. Yep. And you said it's difficulty two. Yep. Okay, I'm spending another fortune. <laughs> okay. Uh, wait. Uh, when did you spend your first fortune? Uh, that was up here trying to... No, that was like... Actually, that was like back here. Okay. At the front, trying to get a single momentum for Rob to cascade into. Okay. Uh, I will allow it as a, different, as a different scene, but technically this is all kind of the same scene. I think you're only allowed one fortune per scene. Per scene? Mm-hmm. I mean, if, I'm, I'm okay with that if that's the case. No, no. I can... Okay. All right, I'm rolling one die then. Okay. For two successes. Oh, two successes. Very good. Okay. How you, close? You're out of fortune. You, I mean, the you're gang a, you can get at the bottom of the gangplank right here. Okay. Ha. Right. <laughs> uh, these two guys uh, turn and fire on you as you run up. Yeah, that makes sense. And they miss because you're running so fast. Pow, pow, pow. Ah. You're like, ah, and the bullets... Uh, the squibs in the wall go off. Bang, 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 bang. <laughs> uh, Lizelle looks nervously back at the woman standing at the end of the of the plank. You better hurry. And uh, Montauk's like, I'm trying, I'm trying. Just patience, woman. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to say that. I uh, can... Uh... Try to shoot some of these uh, Black Sun soldiers. Okay. Uh, oh, one success. All right. Uh, the worm creature. Wait, moves can forward. We get, can we get Brian uh, an aim reroll since he didn't move? Uh, I'll allow it, but this will be the last time. If you guys forget to okay. say aim going forward, I'm not gonna not gonna let you guys have it. Hey, there's another success. Okay. Damage. Uh, seven plus three effect. All right. So this guy, which one were you shooting at, by the way? I will say the one closest to me. Okay. There he's being. Okay. So this guy is killed, and this guy takes some some damage. Uh, that monster moves up. Are these also Black Sun? Yeah, they are Black Sun. Yes, they are working okay. together as a pair. Uh, uh, I'm going to aim and shoot the uh, prototype at, at Okay. Monica. So just so you know, this green, uh, uh, gas or vapor or whatever that is surrounding him has increased the difficulty by two. So in order to hit him, you will need to have D four in order to hit. 
Yeah, I we've have... seen we've seen wizards do this nonsense before. Mm-hmm. Okay. In fact, they did it. I think the first time you met them. Sounds right. One of the earlier times. Mm-hmm. One of the times. Well, I think it was in Paris. Yeah. Let me reread my sharpshooter. First bonus die you buy is free. So the second bonus die when you spend momentum is costs two. Correct. Correct. Like the die itself costs two. Correct. So I could go up to four dice. Easily, that seems not great. Uh, I will aim and shoot at one of these two idiots that's right here. Okay. Uh, get my free die because I'm aiming. And okay. four successes. Very good. Should have shot Montag. <laughs> Damage. Wow. Nice. Nice. Uh, that is three three shot damage. One, two, three. So uh, here's two. Oh yeah, it doesn't matter on these guys. Look great. That guy is taken out. He blows up in a big, big uh, blue arc of of blue lightning. Zap. Herr Montag. Yeah, Herr Dienstag. Would you like some help? I would appreciate some help, please. Okay. And he gets quiet for a moment and he is concentrating very hard. Ooh, uh, he isn't able to do anything. He just looks exhausted. He mutters something and then just is like, magic seems the woman at the end of the pier appears very agitated and angry. Now she raises up her arm and the two leather clad, Skinny fellows kind of snap to attention uh, like they've been activated and they're kind of like got their arms ready to run and attack if need be. All right. Top of the round. The fog is still up. Yep. Mm. Hang on. I'll let me see if I can do something about that. I'm going to try and charge Montag and uh, see if I can try and get the flute away from him. Okay. Assuming that uh, I can get there. Two, three, four, five. No, you can't quite get. I mean, you could for a full motion, for a full move, but you wouldn't be able to do an action to attack him. Okay. Um, how many squares do I get with a full motion? Five is a uh, uh, full motion would be 10. Okay. So it would be like eight to get like down here. Yeah, because uh, we probably should now declare the boat as difficult terrain because mm-hmm. it's on its side. So yeah, a half action once you get on the boat or a half movement once you get on the boat. Okay, so round up or down? Uh, you can go eight. Okay, so yeah, eight gets me here. So I'll yeah. just spend my turn doing that. Okay. Get right into the fog. Okay. And then you, you know, it is the, very choking. Yeah, you know, like uh, old timey football drills. Like I'm like uh-huh. ha, 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 to this, like on either side, like trying to block them. Okay, the uh, the hand with the flute starts to glow. Okay, yeah, nothing, nothing happens. The hand uh, continues uh, to glow. Lizelle uh, screams something. You idiots! Do I have to do everything? And where the hell is she? <laughs> oh, there she is. Uh, she has a, she has a gun. She pulls out a gun that looks like a machine gun and she fires just in a big wide spray over everything. And she misses us. Lazelle all the way down here at the bottom. Oh, okay. Which is dumb because she, uh, can't do anything. She's like too far Tommy, away to hit you. Like a Tommy gun. It's like a machine gun. It looks like some kind of machine gun. Okay. Uh, where was that cover that you said you had, Rodrigo? Or was that in a different area that I'm not thinking about that, right now? Uh, so oh, the cover would have been here. up here on the uh, barrels. Am I able to get up there? Yeah. And still shoot this turn? Yeah, for your move action. Biffy. Hmm. Wait, I don't want to do that. I am going to die the second someone touches me right now. Or I guess take Uh-oh. injuries the second someone touches me. How much armor do you have? I have one armor, but I only have two stress boxes left. Oh, okay. 
You so could try to... if if your um, will plus resilience is good, you could try to catch your breath. That's what I was going to say. Was I will do that? It's a twelve, so it's not the worst. So that'll recover your resilience in stress boxes. If you spend momentum on it, it'll recover resilience plus momentum spent. Uh, and that's like a major action, I believe. Yeah. So is that... So you can't shoot. Character. So I can't shoot. I'd still be able to move. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do that because I would like to be able to get into this spray at okay. a point where I can actually resilience see and will more things. Uh, I will spend... Do I want to spend more than one momentum on this? I don't what think your, so. What is your resilience? Uh, my resilience is only a two. I mean, I would. Yeah, only because now... only because if you you've only then got four stress points plus one armor, so that means if anybody hits you for five or more, you're down. Well, I'm spending at least one. Okay. It's it's more if I want to spend more than one. You know, uh, now that I'm looking at it, I wonder if it means that you have to spend momentum like afterwards. Oh, like you know what I mean? Like spending momentum to the enhance the role gained. isn't what adds more health you can, momentum. You have to spend health momentum afterwards. Ah, that makes sense. Uh, is it a D1 or a D2? D2. Yeah, D2. D2. Um, I'm going to spend a momentum on the roll. Okay. And see what happens from there, based on right. the new information available to me. I'll, I'll look it up, but I'll hey, go on the record successes. that I hate this PDF. <laughs> so do I. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah. Two successes. Uh, uh, so you've got your resilience plus any momentum that you want to spend to bump that up. Uh, oh, I will... Spend one more momentum on that to give myself five total stress. Well, who else is on, who else is almost dead? Is anybody I'm, else almost dead? I'm. I mean, I've got five boxes left. I'm within reason. Okay. I also probably also have, have like two armor. E- right? Yeah, equal to or the highest armor of okay. anybody on the party. So, okay. All right, that is Rob's turn. The worm uh, creature still going to move, don't I? Uh, sure. Well, it was a major action and a minor action. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I will, now I will move up to here into the cover. Worm creature moves up. There's a monster coming up the thing, isn't there? Mm hmm. Yeah. If I go. Oh, wait. There's a guy here and a guy here. These are still two yep. soldiers. Yep. Uh, but, but, but they are separate units. They are so separate units. Uh, I'm going to try and shoot this guy okay. to death. We have a little momentum, but I'm not going to utilize it because I like to live dangerously. And uh, one success, I miss. Okay, you miss. I do. And... Uh... I think that's everybody, right? I think everybody has gone. All right, top of the round. This guy over here, he's going to mutter something under his breath again. And he misses. Nothing happens. He looks very tired at this point. I'm sorry. It's okay. And he and uh, so now one of you guys can go. Um, Can I try and get the loot away from Dean Stock or... Montag, I think. Yeah, it's a hand-to-hand combat. Um, it is a D4. D4, eh? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. How about punching him? <laughs> okay. Is that a lower difficulty? Nope. Okay. He's inside that zone. He's inside that zone. Okay. Is do we know if he's generating the zone? He raised his hand up, and then that uh, zone yeah, of smoke no, appeared around that's, him. That's fair. So he, Carlos certainly wouldn't wouldn't know if he's generating uh, it or if it's... Perhaps it's Valentino crazy. might know with a little study of magic that he did with uh, Pontus. Yeah. Um, 
or Antoine, sorry. Um, and so, yeah, he would know that that was some kind of a magical spell. Magical spells do have a duration, but you don't know how long that duration is going to be. Okay. Gonna spend a momentum. So here's okay. rolling three dice, hoping for four successes. All right. Uh, agility and fighting. Or, mm-hmm. yeah, agility and fighting. Yep. So and I will spend some threat. Okay. Aim a punch. One success. Two successes. You miss. Okay. He kicks you backwards. Okay. Two spaces. Works for me. And then he. The, oh, the wait. Th- uh, Carlos goes. Ha ha. NYU violets, class of 90, and then get, <laughs> gets kicked in the face. All right. Or not 90, 30, 40, whatever. Let's see. Uh, all right. So the worm guy moves up. Mm. Oh, thanks, worm guy. I'm going to aim and shoot at that. Okay. Ah, shoot. Uh, reroll that 15. Uh, still a mess. Never mind. Yep. It rushes up on you. Um ah. This stormtrooper attempts to shoot at the man who just ran through the door. And he hits, he succeeds. Uh, For two physical damage, you are behind uh, the barrels, which is one cover. Uh, Rob. Uh, Cover gives armor? Uh Uh-huh. Oh, cool. I take nothing. All right. Your side. Uh... Did the worm already move this round? He did. Yep. The okay. Worm just ran up on us. I would like to deworm. I was going to try and like deny them some uh, actions if I could, because I can kind of delete things sometimes. Okay. What are you, what are uh, you going to try to do? Yeah, uh, I mean, kill something. Uh, oh, what okay. hasn't acted this round? Uh, Let's see. This Black Sun Trooper hasn't acted. Uh, Lizelle has not acted. Um, And then these three people down here at the bottom have have held their turns this entire time. Okay. Uh, We'll shoot. We'll we'll aim and shoot at the uh, Black Sun doo-doo that hasn't acted yet. Okay. uh, With aim, I get to get a extra die for free. Okay. And this gets pierced, so blam. Nice. Get that is bag. four successes. Yep. Okay. Uh, and seven damage dice for three plus two effect. And what are the effects on your gun? Pierce, you said? Pierce. Yeah, he's yeah. gone. He is gone. Ah! Get down I love and you. rest in here some more. Okay. Uh, let's see. Our big guy over here, I be, uh, has not gone this round, so he's also going to mutter something under his breath, and he does. And a what is his thing? Okay, you. He's going to aim this at you, Rodrigo. Okay. A and you've seen this before as well. Uh, a green beam shoots out of his hand towards you. And you take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, you take seven mental stress piercing one. And you are Whoa. snared. This is the same one that you guys saw him do on Hair Riddle back in Belgium. Okay. Uh, yeah. That's going to take me out of commission. Okay. We're now into the danger zone where Rodrigo has got three rounds for his character to survive. Yeah, and come in after one. right after this go. So this will be my first blah, blah, go. Okay, yeah, it'll be on the next round that it starts. So uh, somebody would need to go and provide some aid to him. Now, keep in mind, anybody, not just Doc, but anybody can provide um, the what is the um, action? It is stabilize, which is a D two. Anybody coordination and medicine D two can stabilize a downed um, comrade. Okay. Uh, meanwhile, um, this guy is going to move two because this uh, boat is still sideways. As he passes you, um, uh, 
Dutch, he looks down at you and says, your father would be so disappointed. Blurg. Uh, I will go next to okay. try and clear the way for someone to go save Dutch. Okay. Uh, we're going to aim and shoot at this worm. Uh, All right. Shoot at the worm. Savo this one. Yeah. Uh, and we're going to get my free momentum die or get my free die. Okay. I'm aiming. Yep. Uh, and that'll be four successes. Nice. Nice. Holy moly. All right. This, this is what I'm supposed to be doing. Uh, so there's that. Uh, so that's Pierce two plus uh, the salvo is vicious. So eleven oh, yeah. damage Pierce this two guy. This guy is dead. He blows up in a hail of of worms, and everybody in a six square radius is covered in earthworms. Uh, get him off. Sorry, Valentino. Okay. Doc, go get Dutch. How far can I run? You can run and use your entire turn and move 10 squares. Where is that going to get me? Right but, but, <laughs> but we just went. Yeah. Oh, that's true. Wait, who we? Our, our, our side. So it, it is technically Steven's turn right now. Oh. Uh, um, I was just clearing the biggest threat out of the way. So I think is, this guy didn't this guy already go? I think this guy go, went. Uh, so yeah, you guys. Uh, I think everybody right now has gone except for Lizelle, and hmm. she just kind of stands there seething. And then there's these two down here, which have yet done anything. It's all so it's almost like if anybody uh, has been part of a team, a team uh, activity. It's almost like. There is a coach down here that is assessing the effectiveness of of her team, mm-hmm. huh. and she has two bruisers with her. Should anybody screw up, or if it gets too out of hand, so yeah, you can you can move ten squares, Matthew. I could be here in theory. Now, yeah. no, you could get here. Yeah, you need to move through. Uh, I have to move through the ballot terrain. Yeah. Terrain? Okay, so. Yeah, ta, 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 ta. Now I can't move myself anymore. Sorry. Uh, yeah, switch over to your um, cursor icon. There you go. Yeah, ta, 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 ta. You can move to right there. I can move right here. Where I am. Okay. Yep. And that on is your turn. Gangplank. You are on the gangplank. Keep in mind that it's probably going to take you an entire turn to get to Carlos because the ship, for whatever reason, tipped over on its side. And now this is difficult to ring. Let's see. I think, uh, let's see. Valentino, have you gone? You went, right? I haven't gone. Okay. And your I'll turn. Shoot this closest uh, Black Sun trooper. Okay. Shoot at. Uh, two successes. Hey, two successes. Good. And uh, four plus uh, one. He's effect. still standing. Ah, just, oh, okay. wait a minute. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me look at my chart here. Yep, nope. This guy is taken out. He had already suffered some spillover Wait. damage from when his friend went down. All right, so he is down. Good, good. Okay. Uh, uh, let's see. We are now at the top of the round, and we're going to have Montauk go first, and he's going to move one, two, three, four, five for his entire turn. Like to Mon- Montauk still has the flute for all we know, right? He does, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Is he also still in a cloud of nonsense? He is. Boo. Uh, I would like to aim and shoot at him. I will spend two extra momentum for one more die. Uh oh, because the first one is free. My first okay. one is free. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> that's that's how I'm reading how that rule should. Yeah, work. yeah, yeah. No, you're right. Like roll. Oh Jesus. Wow, what the crap. Oh, you, no. should, uh, you should re-roll from aim. I guess I re-rolled at 18. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Who are you shooting? Monstog. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's why I was spending so much. Hey, two successes. 
Pew, pew. Yeah. Three, four. For whatever reason, because he is uh, said he was so tired before, he is not moving as fast as he was before. And Lazelle is going to step up. And she is going to fire at you, Doc. Mm -hmm. And she, she misses. A bit. <laughs> All right. You guys. I don't like her. Send a threat here to the. No! Uh, is that everybody? No. Uh, I don't no. think I've gone. No, it's the top of the round. So everybody, everybody can go. Oh, yeah. That's the other one. Steven's spending threat. Yep. Okay. Okay, so I can continue this way. Mm -hmm. If I double move, I can get there but not do anything. Correct. If I move, can I take a shot at uh, one of the Stags and or Lichel from this position here? Uh, so, yes, you can. Okay. Uh, I think that's five because I was here. So I went one, two, th wait, one, two, two three, three, four. four. Five. You can move five here because nope, it's difficult terrain. Got it. Got it. Got it. Okay. So I would like to shoot these elves. Okay. I'd like to shoot her right in the eye. But with what are you shooting her with? I am shooting her with, with a handgun. Okay. So that would be the difficulty of three because you're not in close range. She's only four away, though, isn't she? Close, close, close range is two squares. Is it? Well, that's yep. stupid. Yeah. Well, I don't want to do that. Is anyone within close range? No. No, Blisco is being smart and holding back. Mm. So I might as well double has move. a ridiculous range, so... Yeah, I mean, it is basically an infinite range. Well, not infinite. Right. It's not like he can but shoot around the world. I might Maybe you well can shoot Hitler from here. Carlos. And then get there, right? Right. Yeah, you can get there, but you can't do any other actions. Right. But I'm there. There's Carlos. Okay. And uh, these three guys down here are still still standing. So that is the end of all these bad guys' turns. So we've got um, uh, Valentino, I think, is the only one left, right? Rodrigo, you have a, a physical injury, right? He is dying. Uh, I so will. this is where you need to do a stabilize action. Right, but I have the ability where if I have two momentum, I can immediately treat one physical injury. He doesn't have any injuries. He doesn't have a physical injury, so there's no point in doing that. Got it. No problem. Okay. Yeah, so an injury happens like um, when somebody catches their arm on fire or when somebody gets um, like an ear cut off, that would be a physical injury. Um, when you suffer, that's why I asked if anybody had suffered more than five damage in a single attack, because that's when an injury occurs. I mean, I probably took more than five damage. It, well, it's attack. after, 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 um, armor and cover and all that stuff. So you haven't done that yet. Uh, Valentino. Yeah, I'm going to move in, uh, to the door, head south and, uh, take a pot shot towards Lazelle. Okay. That's a D2 on her. All righty. Oh, just one. Okay. So, not yet. Um, let's go. You did go this round. I think so. I have lost track of. Oh yeah, you did the you did the four. Cause... You did yeah, you did the four and missed. Okay, yeah. uh, let's do top of the round. Um, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, he is now almost off the gangplank, almost completely off the ship. Uh, we've got uh, Dean's talk one, two, three, four, moving, and Lazelle is going to take a couple of steps back to be by Montauk. And I will spend some threat on that. That would be using the keep the action um, use of the momentum slash threat. All right. It's all up to you guys now. We need to put little letters on their hats. I know. <laughs> right? I used to, ha I used to have a thing that had which one was which. And you I want to stabilize Matthew? Cause you're, uh, there sure. that should be a reasonably good role for you. Yep. Montag is the skinny guy. Dean Stog is the big guy. Got it. So stabilize action again is to do coordination a coordination in medicine. medicine. It's a D2. Yep. Yeah. My, well, I have my lifesaver power thing, so. You can use that too. Someplace. Yeah. Uh, lifesaver. You may also say, oh, that's uh, 
Stabilize a dying character or revive a character by one. Reduce the difficulty of any medicine skill test. Okay, so you can take it down to a D1. Okay. So um, if you succeed, the character will be stabilized, meaning they're not going to deteriorate any further, but they may still need medical attention to fully recover. So that would be when you are using your, um, your first aid ability. Right. No, because that's still an injury. Sorry, never mind. You yeah, don't have you don't have anything that gives back or takes away physical stress at this time. Yeah, I mean right. there is like this the catch breath action, basically right. allows oh, sure. you to catch somebody else's breath. Oh, there you go. Oh. Does but that, that require a, a that, full that, action? Yeah, it takes its own action. Yep. Okay. So that's a problem. But two successes. Nice. So we buy ourselves a momentum, momentum back. Yep. And uh, oh. Dutch is not dead. Yay. Stabilized. All right. Uh, Valentino or Blisco. What you plan on, Blisco? I, my entire plan has been bizap since we got in this room. But <laughs> <laughs> does uh, uh, Montauk still have the swirly mists? He does. If ah. you can do anything about the swirly mists before I go to bizap. Uh, that I would really think I, 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 yeah. Uh, so I was just going to yeah. move down and try to shoot the cell again. Yeah. Okay. I mean, we've got both of our actions back to back right now, right? Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, go ahead. All right. So I move down, shoot towards Lazelle. Are you using uh, your handgun with aim? Handgun. Yeah. Well, uh, no, I'm moving. Not if he's so moving. Oh, yeah. right, right, right. Okay. Trying to keep Ooh, that going. Zero Ooh, 19 and 18. Nope. Okay. <laughs> Gross. At least it wasn't complicated. Oh, boy. Nope. Yeah. Uh, we're going to try that same thing I did last time. Okay. He's kind of the key to the thing. Uh. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Four success is very good. Nice. Five. Oh, five successes. Very Three good. Three is a crit. <laughs> nice. <laughs> All right. Uh, yep, get one back. Uh, so you can roll some damage. Did I say salvo last time? I don't remember. You did not. I mean, okay. last time you shot, but this time you did not. I said that I was trying the same thing as last time. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, Bob. Actually, since uh, the way that it, I put it in the stack, it's this way. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. One, two, oh, three. Man. Uh it was Pierce two. Can... Okay, cool. Uh what is the effect? Uh the oh, that is the effect is vicious. Okay. So, the yeah. The, the effect is Pierce plus the salvo is vicious. Okay. All right, yep. He uh he is uh stumbling a little bit now. But at the top of the round, he is able to move one, two, three, four, five. That doesn't like shut down his fog, nope, does it? He does not. Oh my gosh. Uh, um, and we got one momentum, huh? We've got mm-hmm. two momentum. Well, yeah, oh, yeah. but I can effectively only spend one. Uh, yeah. Uh, I mean, I can make the attack again. Yeah, you can go first at the top of the round. Sure. Yeah, I say go for it. All right. Uh, no salvo this time because I don't okay. want to try and re- have to reroll. Or not reroll. Uh, reload. Reload. Oh, um, yeah. Uh, oh, I will, that, that's four successes. Four successes. Yeah, so two makes, uh, yeah. I will cool. reroll the 15. Okay. From my aim to try and maybe get us some. Uh, more momentum. Yay, more, oh, more momentum. Yay. So you get one momentum back. Do some damage. Better. That's better. There you go. Yeah, he stumbles and falls and is dead. <laughs> get uh, the flute. Lazelle Can runs we up. Do a momentum grabs... spend to take the. Sure. To... Yeah. Sure, yeah, I'll do that. <laughs> spend the momentum uh, so as Brian can take the next action. Yeah, go I for it. Feel the initiative. Out. 
Be whatever. Spin that oh, momentum. Uh, aim and shoot at Lazelle. And I'm going to spend a fortune on that. Okay. So I should automatically hit, and we'll see. Yep. No, well, okay, I hit though. <laughs> yep, you did hit her. Uh, and we still got one momentum. Uh, no, you have zero. No, momentum. zero. Oh, okay. You aimed, so do you want to re-roll that? Oh, that's true. Let me get a re-roll. Cancel. There we go. Couldn't get the dialogue box to go away. Hey, yeah, there we go. We got it back. There's an extra momentum. Should I just spend that on damage just to try to seal this deal? Uh, it's only one more damage die, correct? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm. Nah, save it. Because the okay. damage die could just be a nothing, unfortunately. Yeah. Okay. Now I'm just going to roll damage. Uh, five with two effect. Uh, the woman in the iron mask, um, you know, has this machine gun in her hand and you are able to hit her and seriously damage her uh, hand that is holding the machine gun. Uh, you can hear something through the muffled metal mask. Uh, her, she shouts something and drops the gun and runs down here to Montauk where she gets the flute out of his dead hand. Doc? What? Shooter? Um, I don't know if I can from here. Pick up the rifle that Carlos has? Take Carlos's rifle. I can shoot her from here? It's a medium, medium range. No, you're still too far away. God, never. Wow. Okay. Uh, well, it just becomes to... harder, right? Yeah, the, the difficulty becomes here. a D3, uh, but you're at uh, half speed because of the difficult terrain. So you could move do up. Do we have a momentum? You would be. You do have a momentum, yes. If I do it here, is it uh, D2? It's a D3 if you shoot from from anywhere so on this boat. If any, uh, so, uh, so D3 no matter where I am on the boat. Uh, yeah. yeah, because even here you're too far away with a with the rifle. Bell crap cakes. Okay. Yeah, you're unfortunately I mean, just right out of the range. Worst case scenario, I miss and we're in the same situation we were a minute ago. Ah, so uh, there is it. something else you could do. <laughs> What's that? They could revive me. What would you do? Spend my whole action running over there again. Well, yeah. All right. Bring him back. I mean, action economy-wise. Yeah, you are faster. I pound on his chest and scream, Live, damn you, live! And I inject him with smelling salts and hold some uh, adrenaline under his nose. And (laughs) Whatever uh, you inject him with, is it glowing green? (laughs) If it is, I wouldn't tell you. (laughs) Well, then as the GM, I will say, oh, there's a green tint to whatever you're injecting him with. Well, I probably wouldn't have to inject him to revive him, would I? I don't oh, know how his revive yeah. work, Rodrigo. So, um, I'm going to pulp, pulp Fiction just al- stab him Along right in the with the catch your breath action. So, um, if you're catching your breath, you roll a resilience plus will, and then you recover that many, uh, or you recover box is equal to your resilience. Alternately, Will plus medicine difficulty two to help an ally and reach to the above effects. Uh, stress is removed. Stress removed equals the higher of the resilience or medicine. There you go. End question. The resilience or medicine, whichever is. Yeah, five. my resilience or your medicine, whichever is highest. Five. Yeah, no, you win, dude. Okay. Um. So yeah, let's do that. So difficulty two. Yep. Typically on a two. will and medicine. Will and medicine. I love will and medicine. Yeah, I was going to say, oh, and Jackie, season, Karen. season yeah. two is really good. Great season. All right. Now, so, press the button. Are you kidding me? No, oh, man. Mm. Are you kidding me? One success. Me? <laughs> um, look at your know. look at your skills there, Matthew. Don't you have something that Anytime you're doing a health thing under your talent that you can lower the difficulty of anything using a medicine check by one. Yes, and it's first aid. 
And what does first aid say? Re- read it again. Where is it? Uh, first aid. I'm not finding it on my sheet. I just have it under my powers. Hang on. Um, I'm not seeing it, Stephen. I'm sorry. Yeah. You don't have it on your sheet under your talents? I don't, but... How's that possible? So Lifesaver says... You can reduce the difficulty of any medicine skill test made to your uh, made to stabilize a dying character or revive a character by one. So I you were trying to revive a character, so you can yes. lower that skill test by one. So I did succeed. Yes. And Dutch is now up and running. Well, he is revived by how many skill points? Five. 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 Yes. Here, uh, Dean's talk is very upset by what he has seen. No. Montag, no! Why does it have to be you, please? It should have been me instead. And he is running up the gangplank like he's going to run over to the other side of the boat. So he's now kind of in the way. Did did you see anything when you were dead there, Carlos? Um, I got, well, I got shot with like a beam that dealt a lot of mental damage to me. So, I yeah. mean, horrid nightmares, one imagines. Okay. Well, yeah. I can tell um, him what to do. And do we remember to... what the, there was like a penalty to using the headdress. Do we remember yes. what it was? Yes. Like it eats a health level a turn or it something? It does. Uh, no, when you take it off, it, it, uh, yeah, it messes up. You have up to here. roll some, some damage. Okay. Do you want to be a giant cobra? But the the thing is, it does make you really big. Uh, yeah. What else did it do? I think it gave you a buff ability, uh, I yeah. think. But um, it doesn't increase your armor. I mean, that's fine. I, if it like, because I have, I, I'm going to have to wrestle that suit from somebody. Unless, you know, Blisco continues to dead eye everyone. But that's going to take several turns. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm trying so, so hard. Dutch loves the pulps. Mm-hmm. And this seems like a ridiculous thing that would happen in that. So um, the moment that he is revived, uh, instead of saying thank you or what happened or whatever, Dutch goes, <laughs> give me the headdress. <laughs> I give him the headdress. Okay. I'll try to move towards those guys. And put on the headdress. The wearer gains extraordinary brawn, so it does boost your uh, brawn abilities. And but it doesn't change your speed. You're immune to pain and immune to fear special effects. At the end of the scene, the wearer loses the ability and suffers four physical stress with the drain quality, which is a fatigue quality. Okay. All right. So if I can put it on and move as close as possible or as much as possible. And then if uh, that guy's on the way, I will punt him. All right. So you can move up next to him. Okay. How mo- Okay. Can I make an attack so, against him? Yeah. This would be a hand to hand. Okay. Uh, how much more brawn do I have? Plus two. Okay. I got something. All right. Hand to hand agility and fighting. Uh, do we have any momentum? I guess I'll, Save that momentum for prototype shots. I mean, there's only one, and it costs me two if I... Okay. If you put the sauce on, okay. I'll spend yeah. it then. Two successes. All right. He only had one success. And how much damage does punching usually do? Uh, I think we said three. Three. So that's three. Plus whatever your regular brawn is. Plus Four, two. five, six, seven. Uh, eight. All right. Uh, yeah, you punch him really hard and his, uh, he is a beefy, stocky man. Mm-hmm. Um, but the, the shock of you punching him so hard causes, as he's trying to go up and block, causes both of his arms to shatter. He suffers oh. one injury. Uh, you hear Lizelle, ah, oh, is that stupid thing again? And she books it one two three four five six seven eight nine ten to the master this is the final action for anybody wait 
So it was the top of the round again? Yep. And Lizelle currently holds the magic flute. Correct. So there, we, we, that was the final action, or we have one more action each? We have each, one more or? action each. Okay. Uh, <laughs> China Carlos, like, God, is just... <laughs> I don't know. I mean, would any of us even be able to make it down to where she's at? Somebody with an extreme ranged gun would probably be able to hit her. I don't know if they'd be able to injure her. It doesn't matter if I can hit her if we can't get to her because there's another person there. Three other people there. It doesn't matter. Can any of us reach her this round? I mean, if she is, moves is that 10, physically possible? Can no. I Hulk jump over there? Um, ooh, ooh. I don't know. You could Hulk jump. You could only get to right here with a jump. All right. So would he do a Hulk jump with Doc? No, you're too far away. Damn. And if I move, that's my action. Uh, no, I mean, you can do a move and a, and a shoot or something, but you would need to use your move action to get up next to Carlos. Right. And then I couldn't move, then have yeah, him Yeah, you move. wouldn't be able to. That would be your last action of the turn anyway. Right. Um, I wouldn't be able to, like, hold part of my action while you jump us down there and then shoot Lizelle in the face. She's got an iron mask on, so I don't think shooting her in the face is probably the best. The, the person shooting Lizelle <laughs> is going to be Blisco, because I've got the best chance of actually just taking her out. We just need someone there to be able to recover the flute when she drops, because there's, there's yeah. other bad guys down there that are going right. to grab it and get away the second I pull the trigger. Uh, yeah, I'm the closest one, and I can't get close enough, you know, unless this gives me reach. No, no, no. Is the okay? Let me ask you a question: Is there any way for us to create a truth that says that Blisco, if Blisco zaps her, that the flute, like he puts a little English on it to like ricochet the flute no. back towards us? No, because well, Brian used the last fortune, or was the last person to have not used their fortune, right? So we don't have a way to create it. Well, I guess we. Unless we to create a truth, but I was thinking, like, could one of us roll a truth to discover they totally had one of the grenades from the mines on them this whole time that we could throw <laughs> at those guys? I mean, I, that puts us in the same place, though. It's not gonna, yeah. like, even if it kills well, if Lizelle, it's not gonna kill that with grenades. Lady. Yeah, right. yeah, but 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 yeah. this is a game where people have hit points. Like, that's yeah, not right. actually going to like kill any of them. Yeah, right. Or even incapacitate them in any way. And if someone could do that, unfortunately, it would probably have to be the same person who could get down there. And Dutch doesn't have two actions. God. What if you threw Montauk? (laughs) You threw Dienstag at them to try and keep them from being able to get away. Is that a thing? Too far away. Yeah. I think the bigger problem is that there's three of them. Yeah, it's, we are not going to be, like, it's, whatever it is, it's going to take my action to get as close as possible, and then three more people are going to go. So they have all day to recover it and, and move away. Um, So, like, I, like, we can play it out, um, but, um, or, we could focus on the fact that we have one very high ranking operative with both of his arms broken underneath my foot mm-hmm. and try to get something out of that. Mm-hmm. You think not, not, not that, not, this? not that I don't think they will be like, Oh no, please release him. Here's the flute. I'm saying like they go and then we can interrogate them. Right. So take the last pop shot and take out Lizelle. Try to, yeah. Yeah. Right. Kill her, I'll give you a dollar. I mean, unless there's something we're not seeing here. 
There's not anything I'm not seeing or that I'm aware of. Wait, come on. Not seeing. Come on. Mm, not seeing. Yeah. We do not see. Ah, uh, yes. I forgot. Uh, I uh, drop a bunch of rice over by the Nazis because that's a Nazi, <laughs> right? Like Nazis yes, have to count all the grains of rice. That's, yep, that's yep, yep. not something else. That's Nazis, right? Okay. I wish I wish we could <laughs> like surround them with a circle uh, so they don't oh. cross it. <laughs> yes. Um, shoot. Hmm. I feel like there should be some way that we could like chain our action to have like an extraordinary last minute. You don't have like, enough momentum say. to do that, unfortunately. Yeah. yeah. Have you have you guys ever played um any of the Disgaea games? Yes, we just Disgaea pick each other up. Yeah, just we... pick each other up and then like throw each other. The closest <laughs> that you could throw the closest that you could throw Doc would be like here. Yeah. No, we're not gonna make it. Um so I would like basically say let's have Blisco take a shot at Lazelle and see if we can at least ice her. Right. Um and then oh, I'll spend my action trying to secure Dean's Tog. Right. As much as much as I hate to say it, are are we just going to like take the L here and see what we can? I I don't think it's a matter of taking the L. I think the L has been handed to us. Yeah, I you know like this like this happens in adventure stuff. Like sometimes the bad guys get away. Like that, it's okay. Yeah. It's not like a bad ending. It's only a bad ending because this is also a role playing game, and we're like, <laughs> what if I move three more squares? But like, <laughs> I am kissing of him. No, but story wise, this is fine. Like this, okay. it, like it doesn't bother me to do that. All right, so somebody needs to lash themselves to the top of the U boat. Yeah, sometimes Indiana Jones only spends the whole movie only helping the Nazis get closer to their goal. Yep, it's true. What do you mean? Sometimes that, I mean, that happens in we, every movie. <laughs> we didn't even do that. They beat us here. Yeah. We only knew this was the place to look because they were already here. So. I mean, literally, it's the thing. Okay, so there are seven artifacts. We have four. Yeah, yeah. No, uh, like yeah. it's okay. Okay. Yeah. You want to take a shot, Rob? Yep. Aim and shoot. Get my extra die. Okay. Yeah. Caller, bad person. Four successes. Hey. Nice. Five successes. Nice. Get we might have the momentum now. Three <laughs> momentum back. Three momentum back. Yeah. Yeah, five successes on on a D2. Well, we have the momentum to keep the initiative. We still don't have the range. Yeah, yeah I I math that I don't think you do. I fab I know we can do something. Uh five pierce two. Oh man. Um God, you guys are horrible, Rob. <laughs> uh, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, Lazelle takes a, a second injury. It's not enough to kill her, but uh you Gosh, shoot darn. her. You shoot her foot and it melts away and you just hear her screaming, uh, bloody, bloody murder. And as she falls to the ground, she hands the flute to the blonde woman who snaps her fingers and the two, um, leather clad men promptly turn around, pick Lizelle up and the four of them march on to the U-boat and it closes its doors and floats away. Does she at least scream in terrible pain? Oh, Mine she of did. Foot. She did. Mine of foot. I. Mine left foot. <laughs> My left foot. My left foot. Oh, my All right, that is. Oh, you have so one. Scary. You have one bad guy in custody, mm-hmm. and um, he appears to be shattered, both in physical form and mental form, that his friend is dead. Uh, Rodrigo, if you would uh, take off the uh, the headdress and roll or damage. Oh, I get to roll it. Uh, four dice, yeah, four dice. Nice. Damage. I mean, it's self inflicted damage, so yeah, you get to roll it. Sure. One, two, three. Uh, so you take three damage. Yep. Oh wow! Uh, can, I, can I soak any of that? Yep, you can soak any of that. Okay. Man. No, <laughs> talk, talk. <laughs> I, uh, 
why, why you are horrible people. <laughs> I was just joking about your mother. <laughs> No, I will have uh, my okay. revenge on all of you. I will have my revenge, don't you understand? <laughs> Absolutely no mothers. I'll uh, <laughs> drag him away from the boat. All right. Uh, yeah. You guys drag him away. Um, yeah, the, the U-boat is moving out of the harbor. And now you hear the sound of police starting to arrive clanging of whatever bells that however the the police siren sound in in the netherlands that's what you hear um you can either go out the front door which in which case you will probably be confronted by a lot of police or there is a oh. back door that you could probably slip out to and find a place to hide um and run into a little police no probably run probably uh, you would be able to find um well matthew why don't you just roll me one d20 uh, we're looking at a uh, below 10, 10 or below on a success. Run into a D20 police. Oh, you rolled a 14. Um, yeah, you guys uh, make it down an alley. You found what you think is an abandoned house. But when you, you go in, in there, uh, there's a woman and child going, no, please don't hurt us Nazis. Please, please. Uh, we're, we're on your side. We're on your side. Uh, yeah, just, you know. Point I got at them and being like, I will ask the questions here. No, no, please, please. This is my child. Yeah, just, you know, try to keep them, like, sat down and not shouting. Okay. All right. You guys are in a uh, store that you thought was empty, but now has two people in it. Okay. okay. And you also have a uh, very injured Dean's talk with you. Okay. Sure, ben. Doc, you want to... Get a uh, take stock of his injuries. Telephone on the wall. Okay. I will. I will attempt to take stock of his injuries. He has two broken arms, probably a rib or two from from Carlos standing on him, mm -hmm. and he may have a concussion from the blow. Do you suspect that there is a way that I can immobilize his arms? Both to minimize additional injury and also try and, you know, not necessarily cuff him, but keep him from. I mean, he's uh, a Nazi. Okay. I mean, uh, you know, does your Hippocratic. I'm not saying I Nazis? don't want to hurt him. Yeah, but... yeah, but yeah, but like, you know, it's like if, if like he tears a blood vessel trying to move his like busted up arms and he right. dies, then we lose oh, him. Okay. So no, you okay. can you can restrain him. OK, yeah. for that matter, do we need to rope. check this guy's teeth. Oh, good call. Oh, that's true. Does he have any teeth? <laughs> good, good, good job, Brian. Uh, yeah, yep. you, uh, uh, Doc, you're able to force open his mouth, and sure enough, there's this weird colored molar in the back of his mouth. All right, I'll just pull out all his teeth. <laughs> <laughs> that seems a little excessive. Like, there's a there's a weird colored molar. It's like I'm not hearing anything that changes my mind about ripping out all his teeth. <laughs> Let's get, okay, let's get the cyanide tooth out. Right. Any others that come out while I'm pulling the cyanide we need, tooth. We need to keep the option open. Um, <laughs> all right. You don't want to uh, become war criminals, so just keep that. <laughs> true. Yeah. True. I mean, so, my, I, I do have a hippopotamus oath, so I will, I will uh, carefully attempt to remove, either remove the molar or somehow remove the molars, uh, uh, you know, projectile or yeah you probably have to take the whole thing content. out yeah. yeah just just yank it yeah you're able to remove it it's it's not it's not like anchored into his jaw or right. anything it's you know cl kind of clamped on with some kind of weird uh staple yeah and right. so you're probably able like to a, extract yeah. it with no, without any damage without breaking it and killing the guy without breaking his brown. jaw or anything yeah yeah cool okay uh so we are not in great shape here. Nope. We are not. There's a telephone um, on the wall. Yeah. We Fish. might want to try and hold up here and call for an extraction if we can do you, swing do you it. Guys feel like there's a telephone on the wall. Yeah. I just, I just have so, to So uh, we will wrap up this uh, part of the story by saying that you are able to place a call into HQ and within a few hours, a uh, yacht 
pulls into the harbor and you and it looks like it's an American uh, yacht and you are all able to get out there and climb aboard. It does not look like a military vessel and uh, you're all able to get on board and there's uh, Section M personnel there uh, manning the boat. Uh, certainly if they were discovered, they would be uh, considered spies and uh, sure. shot. Yeah, an international but, incident. Yeah, but uh, because uh, this crew is really good, everyone just thinks that this is an American yacht, so there's no reason for the Nazi U-boats that are all throughout this area to fire upon your boat, but they are able to kind of patch you up and get you back to England and to Kent. Critical Hit Punch All Nazis is a production of Major Spoilers Entertainment and was produced and edited by me, Stephen Schleicher. If you would like to get a behind-the-scenes making of this episode, be sure to check out the GM Roundtable Octum Cthulhu Edition at our Patreon page, patreon.com slash majorspoilers. Each week I discuss my plans for the upcoming game session, and Dr. Brad Will is there to share his reactions and advice on how to be a better game master. I will warn you, though, there are spoilers galore in every installment of the GM Roundtable Octoon Cthulhu edition. So, if you don't like spoilers and don't want to know what I am planning next, don't listen to these episodes. Though, I will say, if you do listen, you'll be able to see how and where the players throw a wrench into my plans, and you're also going to have greater insight into the world that's being built into this campaign. Finally, we want you to record yourself doing your best on critical hit and send it to us at podcast at major spoilers.com. And your voice will join the growing chorus of fans in upcoming episodes as well. Thank you again for listening this week. And here's hoping all of your dice rolls are critical hits. This podcast is copyright 2024 by Major Spoilers Entertainment, LLC.